I want to tell a story about one of the dreamers, which uh, Congressman King uh, particularly uh, would come to dislike because this is an undocumented person. And one of the dreamers who would be disadvantaged by the Republican action in the House of Representatives, which would literally remove the protection which this young lady has from deportation. This is Ola Queso. Her story is amazing. She was brought to the United States from Albania in 1998 at the age of five. She grew up in Warren, Michigan, and her dream was to become a medical doctor and to treat cancer patients. Ola was the valedictorian of her high school class. She took every advanced placement class offered by her school and had a 4.4 grade point average. She was treasurer of the student council and treasurer of the National Honor Society at her school. In 2011, I held a hearing on the DREAM Act. Ola Queso had just graduated from high school and she came to testify at the hearing. She was the first ever undocumented immigrant to testify before the Senate. In the fall of 2011, Ola entered the honors program at the University of Michigan, where she's a pre-med student. What has happened to Ola Queso since DACA was established in 2012? Ola has become involved in public service, and in 2013, she worked as an intern in the office of our former colleague, Senator Carl Levin. She continued her studies, and this spring, Ola will graduate from the University of Michigan with a double major in biochemistry and women's studies. Keep in mind, she completed this degree without any financial assistance from our government. Ola is not eligible for Pell Grants or student loans because she is undocumented. She's become involved in nanotechnology, a cutting-edge field that holds great promise for future technological breakthroughs. Ola is now conducting research at the Michigan Nanotechnology Institute for Medicine and Biological Science. Last year, Ola's work was published in the Journal of Physical Chemistry. I want to read you the name of the article which Ola Queso published, and I hope you'll spare me, a liberal arts lawyer, if I stumble over some of these words. But just to give you an idea of her research, the article was entitled, Atomic Force Microscopy, Probing of Receptor Nanoparticle Interactions for Riboflavin Receptor Targeted Golden Dendrimer Nanocomposites. Now that's a mouthful, but it gives you a sense of how much Ola Queso has to contribute. Next, Ola plans to attend medical school. But if the House Republicans have their way, and we pass in the Senate the language which was included as part of the Department of Homeland Security appropriation bill, Ola Queso will never have a chance. She will be deported back to Albania, a country she really doesn't know at all. She will be forced to leave the United States. We will basically give up on the investment we've made as Americans in her education and her potential and tell her leave. In the words of Congressman Steve King, she's one of the deportables. One of the deportables. Ola sent me a letter recently. Here's what she said about her dreams for the future. I aspire to ultimately become a surgical oncologist, but more importantly, I intend to work for patients that cannot afford the astronomical fees accompanying life-saving surgeries, patients that are denied the medical treatment they deserve. My goal is not to increase my bank account. My goal is to decrease preventable death. I wish to remain in this country to make a difference. Ola isn't alone. There are so many dreamers across this country, just like her, who want to be part of our future. It's clear that this DACA program works for America. That's why I'm asking dreamers around the country to join me, post their stories about what they've done with DACA on Twitter and Facebook using the hashtag DACA works. I want the American people to understand the human cost of the bill that was passed by the Republicans in the House of Representatives and is now pending here before the United States Senate. If this bill becomes law, DACA will end. Hundreds of thousands of dreamers will risk deportation to countries they can barely remember. Will America be stronger if we deport Ola Queso and others like her? Young people who want to use their talents to give back to America, deporting them to countries that they have some loose connection by family ties to, 
Of course not. It is shameless, shameless to play politics with the lives of these young people. They grew up in this country, attending school in this country, putting their hand over their hearts in their classrooms every day to pledge allegiance to the only flag they've ever known. It is shameless for the House Republicans to put Homeland Security funding at risk in pursuit of punishing these young people. The House Republicans feel so strongly about deporting dreamers, they are willing to hold our Homeland Security funding hostage. The House Republicans are telling the Senate and the President, deport the dreamers or we will shut down the Homeland Security Department. Well, I hope the Senate Majority Leader will reject this blackmail and bring a clean Homeland Security Appropriations Bill to the floor of the Senate as soon as possible. For our part, the Senate Democrats will insist that the Department of Homeland Security be funded and that the President have the authority, which every President has, to establish America's immigration policies. Mr. President, you were part of an effort, as I was, several years ago, to try to resolve this issue in a thoughtful, balanced, comprehensive way. The ultimate bill that was considered before the Senate wasn't perfect. Parts of it I didn't like at all. But we reached a compromise. And over a year and a half ago, we sent that bipartisan bill to the House of Representatives, asking them to call it for consideration and amendment. They refused. Refused for more than a year and a half to call that bill. And instead, what they have done is to launch these attacks on young people like Ola Queso. Is that what America is all about? Is that the best that we can do? for the dozen or more Republican presidential aspirants who made that journey out to Iowa to pay homage to Congressman Steve King and his views about immigration. I would ask them when they return home, look around you. There are young people just like this young woman who are only asking for a chance to be part of America's future. Mr. President, I yield the floor.